Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. BMP2 remains the backbone of infantry combat vehicle of Indian Army with nearly 2500 of them in services. Indian Army operates BMP2 as infantry combat vehicles, armored ambulance, amphibious bulldozers and engineer reconnaissance vehicles. Now, many of you would not like them as the design is pretty old and mostly mechanical but they are excellent and rugged war machine. This I am telling from my interaction with MOD's DJQA personnel who was involved in the inspection of BMP2. The ICV is licensed built by us while OFB and now Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited. OFB has achieved 98% indigenous content levels by value in the production of BMP2. These combat vehicles go through extensive trials to pass Indian Army's quality parameters. However, the warfare in modern era has vastly shifted from mechanical to electronics and now to artificial intelligence. It's also important to note that Indian Army intends to operate BMP-2 till 2030. Therefore, Army's BMP-2, which is Soviet-era designed vehicle, needs a massive upgrade to remain potent in the modern era warfare. As reported by the print, Army has initiated trials involving three private companies for upgrade of over 2,500 Russian infantry combat vehicles BMP-2. The program is being pursued through the government's IDX, that is Innovation for Defense Excellence Initiative, in which three firms have qualified. These firms are Tonbo Imaging, Big Bang Boom, and Dimensions NXG. The biggest change would be the see-through armor that will enable the men inside BMPs to get full view of external situation while still inside, be it night or the day. The see-through armor is going to be a technological leap that will increase situational awareness. BMPs will be fitted with over half a dozen cameras which will integrate with the helmet display. The headgear displays images of the surroundings to the commander of the tank as if he was seeing through the armor. The upgrade also includes a specialized ammunition that can be fired in air to explode in mid-air to take down drones and loitering munitions. The focus of upgrade is on a comprehensive solution targeting BMP-2's gunner main sight, commander's panoramic sight, fire control system, automatic target tracker and laser rangefinder. Another acquisition plan is that of canister launched loitering munition system to be integrated on BMP-2 carrier motor tracked chases or CMT. These upgrades are going to make BMP-2 platform at par with any ICV in service around the world and will boost Army's capability, especially at LSE. The upgrade process of BMP-2 is not something new. It has started last year in August itself. The biggest issue with BMP-2 is lack of night operational capability. They don't have thermal imaging fire control system, which literally makes them blind when the sun sets or when there is smoke, dust or fog. Last year, a project sanction order was issued by Indian Army to 12 domestic, private and public sector companies, also referred as development agencies, to produce retrofitted prototype within 52 weeks or by July 31st, 2022 for user trials. One infantry combat vehicle was to be supplied to each potential vendor for the upgrade. Thereafter, at least two vendors were to be selected amongst those who met the Indian Army's preliminary staff qualitative requirement PSQRs for the upgraded ICVs and the one that emerged L1 or lowest bidder would be shortlisted to upgrade 811 BMP2 platforms. These upgrades include equipping them with more powerful engines, night fighting capability, variety of advanced systems. A more powerful engine will be replacing their present 300 horsepower power packs. The ICVs will be equipped with third generation thermal imager based gunner and panoramic sights, modern fire control system and automatic target trackers. The retrofit would also encompass upgrading the platform's onboard weapon system that will include a 30mm 2A42 autocannon with dual ammunition feeds capable of firing 9113 concourse wide guided anti guided missiles and a secondary coaxial 7.62 by 54mm machine gun. Earlier in July 2017, Ministry of Defense had approved 
2400 crore for the upgrade of 639 BMP2 to BMP 2M standards by state owned OFP. This included fitting them with 6 cylinder 4 stroke UTD23 supercharged 360 horsepower diesel engine and thermal imaging fire control system. Some of them also reportedly are being armed with locally developed NAG anti-tank guided missiles and automatic grenade launchers. In June 2020, MOD had further approved the procurement of 156 license-built BMP2 ICVs from OFE Medak unit in Telangana that has been series producing ICVs since 1987. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.